Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my vlog. I'm Robin or a Hobbit's reading list. And that was my cat. <laughs> Are you okay? You're sneezing. <laughs> and this week is the week of Thanksgiving. So my dad is in town. So I don't know how much reading I'm really going to do. I'm, I need to finish Leave It to Smith by Friday because that's when we're going to record the podcast. I'm going to start a new audiobook. So I just want to see how much I can get done. So. So I hadn't filmed. <laughs> I wanted to try to film every day except for Monday, obviously, because I started the vlog on Tuesday. So this is me filming. Uh, <laughs> I have listened to probably five-ish hours of The Hidden Huntress, which is the new audiobook that I started. It is the sequel to Stolen Songbird, which was about this girl named Cecile who was kidnapped from her village and taken underneath the Forsaken Mountain, which is super ominous, where a civilization of trolls have been trapped, pretty much, and Cecile is supposed to help free them. That's really all I can say uh, without going into like spoilers and then spoilers for this book. So I, I'm enjoying it. It's a little weird to be listening to the audiobook when I read the first book, but the narrators I think do a pretty good job. So I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm getting wrapped up in the, the mystery of it all. I've only read a little bit more of Leave It Smith. I'm I feel like Smith is being balanced out by the cast of Blaining's Castle, which I appreciate because I like a lot of Blaining's Castle's characters. I still don't like Smith. <laughs> and if there's not any Blaining Castle people in the scene with him, I'm just like, ugh. But I am enjoying it. I'm hoping I can finish it tomorrow because I do need to really crack on with it and start reading the Yiddish Policeman's Union because I only read like two chapters of it. So that's my very quick update. Uh, I will try to film again tonight because I'll be getting home a little bit earlier so hopefully I won't be as tired and I will let you know more of what I read today while I was at work. So obviously I didn't film anything because yesterday was Thanksgiving and I was cooking and spending time with family, but I did spend a majority of yesterday when I wasn't doing those things reading Leave it to Smith and I can happily say I'm finally fucking done with it. <sighs> I had hoped that despite it being a Smith book, which if people are watching this vlog and haven't seen me read previous Smith books by P.G. Woodhouse, I hate Smith with a unholy passion. My hope had been that because it was Blanding's castle though, that my enjoyment of Blanding Castle's characters would sort of offset Smith. That didn't happen. <laughs> that, that did not happen. If anything, it made me more upset because it wasn't happening. Because it was so Smith-centric. It was so upsetting. <laughs> it was, unfortunately, still written well. The, the actual plot was amusing despite Smith being in most of it. So I did give it a three star. But it... The three stars mainly because of the Blanding's Castle cast that they they did what they could to offset Smith. And I will be recording the podcast episode with my dad today. Other than that, I when did I last film? It would have been Wednesday. 
yeah, I listened to like another hour of Hidden Huntress. Not a lot to report there. I'll listen to more tomorrow and Sunday, so then I'll have more to check in with. I probably won't read much today. I have a lot of, I have a little bit of work and then recording the podcast and I have to finish wrapping dad's presents so he can take them to Arkansas with him. And we're just gonna like spend some time because he's leaving like early, early, well, I'm taking him to the airport early, early tomorrow. <laughs> but tomorrow I will probably pick up the Yiddish Policeman's Union because I have to have it read by Tuesday. And yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to film because I'm watching Becca and the books right now. And I'm like, oh yeah, I should film for the vlog. So that it's not like an eight minute video like it would have been last week. <laughs> so that's what's up. <laughs> Good morning. It's um, been a minute since I recorded. I think the last time I recorded was Friday. So much for me recording every day. <laughs> I, it's Monday by the way. <laughs> I was going to record when I got home last night, but I, I don't know what it is. Just by Sunday, I'm just exhausted. Like I just can't do anything. I ended up actually taking a nap, which I, I hardly ever do. I really only take naps when I'm sick <laughs> and so I'm kind of concerned that the fact that I took like essentially a two and a half hour nap yesterday means that I'm probably going to get sick this week because <laughs> the last time I took a nap was when I lost my voice in October <laughs> so kind of concerned but reading wise I feel like I've got a decent amount done not as much as I would like so that's for next week's vlog to finish up things. <laughs> But I am halfway through Hidden Huntress, over halfway, I think I'm at like 63%, and I'm enjoying it. I think, I think I might be enjoying it more than when I read it, when, uh, when I read Stolen Songbird in March, which is the first book in the series, because it almost feels like, <laughs> recollecting that is, almost feels like a fever dream. <laughs> Like, I, I know most things that happen, and I've remembered more as I've listened to Hidden Huntress. But I think listening to it means that it's solidifying more in my brain, and I'm, like, able to follow the story more than I remember being able to with Stolen Songbird. I think in the moment, I remember, or obviously, <laughs> in the moment, I was following the story, but as, you know it's been nine months I think that well eight months <laughs> I think that obviously the the plot of it all seems very like chaotic uh because there's a lot that happens they're they're big books like they're they're decently sized <laughs> the audiobook for Hidden Huntress is 16 hours so but I I am enjoying it I it's really it's really just interesting. It's it's well written. I, I will say that, which I, I find a little surprising because I did get Sol Stolen Songbird for free um, at a convention in like 2014. <laughs> but and I'm enjoying it. I went ahead and got the last book in the trilogy from Pango uh, because there have been a couple of different like publications and I only like the cover from like, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the original publication. So I was able to find one on Pango. So I'm like, yeah, I want that one because I want them to match because I've become that person. <laughs> so I should finish that Wednesday. I think I have like five-ish hours left because there was randomly a lot of traffic. Oh, because it was Sunday after Thanksgiving. People were probably going back home. Okay. I was like, I don't know why there was so much traffic yesterday. <laughs> like yesterday afternoon, it was weird. 
because uh, that's not what usually happens on Sunday. It's usually Fridays, but that makes sense. <laughs> Other than that, I started like officially reading the Yiddish Policeman's Union. I had read like two chapters last Sunday and that was it and I ended up falling asleep. <laughs> I've been going to bed really early, which again makes me nervous that I'm sick. <laughs> but I'm about, I'm not quite halfway. I think I'm about like 45%. I pretty much just read all of Saturday because I had taken my dad to the airport at like 4.30 in the morning is when we left the house. So I got home at around I think like 7.30. So I was just too tired to do anything else. And I, I did end up taking like a, literally a five minute nap that day. <laughs> But that one made sense. I was like, well, sure. Because I feel like I went to bed early. I tried, but I didn't. Yeah, so I read most of Saturday and I got halfway through the Yiddish Policeman's Union. And I read a little bit yesterday because I had a break in between meetings. So I think I read like maybe 50 pages. So I, I haven't calculated. But I'm probably about halfway now. I will try to finish it today. We are... Chris has a day off and we're either having people over here or we're going to our friend's house for the Bears game tonight. Either way, I will read during the game because I don't care about the Bears. <laughs> so uh, I will I will get that done. But I also have a lot of stuff to do because I didn't really do much last week because my dad was here and <laughs> I wanted to enjoy the time with him because I haven't seen him since June. So yeah that's uh that's about all i did i was hoping this week would have a little more substance but sorry <laughs> let's see what is next week to give you like a teaser oh i don't know how exciting this will be uh it's my uh it's my job's holiday event um instead of like a party we do a spa night so we go to a spa and get uh, like manicures and pedicures and facials and then we have a choice between like a massage or like a salt scrub and I <laughs> I will think about people I don't know touching me um, <laughs> for extended periods of time so I went with the salt scrub so I'm very interested to see what that's going to be like because my boss got one last year and her skin was like so smooth I'm like almost it was unnatural um but I'm curious <laughs> so I mean I have that going on and then I'm getting a haircut I don't have a ton going on the weekend the vlog after that will be fun because that's my birthday and the anniversary of my YouTube channel so that's cool anyway I'm rambling now <laughs> so I'll let you guys go you know, maybe 15-20 minute vlogs are my sweet spot. I'm hoping that's how long this video is. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Hopefully you like, you know, short form vlogs that are somehow spanned over a week. <laughs> and leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. I'm hitting all the bells on this cat tree <laughs> because I'm gesturing. And I will catch you guys in the next one.